What's up, party people? I don't know about you guys, but in Dark Souls 1, the, the Belfry Gargoyles were sort of a coming-of-age story for me. It took a long time for me to beat those things. Two bosses at once just seemed crazy. So Dark Souls 2 decided, you know what would be better than two gargoyles at once? What if we made them fight four gargoyles at once? And then, what if we made it so that there was really a total of like 15 of them or something? And the fight would just go on forever, and they'd have to fight four of them, and it would just be so much fun. And so they did that. They made they made the Belfry Gargoyles uh, Part 2. And this time, you fight up to four of them at once. And I think, I want to say there's six total. I never really did count, because it's kind of a hectic fight. And I've already got this plan, because the fight lasts for forever, at least the way I do it. And it, this, this fight is similar to the Ruin Sentinels. It's, it's really, it really comes down to keeping all of them in front of you. None of their individual attacks hit that hard. If you have a full stamina bar and you keep that shield up, for the most part you're gonna be safe. It's, it's not... they don't hit that hard as long as you have your shield up. But the key is you gotta keep them in front of you. And when you get four of them walking around, it can be kind of hard to keep four of them in front of you. You also have to be prepared to keep to, to get reasonably far away because that fire, you know, I don't I didn't have a 100% fire blocking anything. So you got to be careful to, to be ready to, to get some pretty decent distance away so that you don't get taken out by the fire. So this this fight is a lot like the others. Keep your shield up and wait for your opportunity to attack. The one thing that I changed about this versus the Ruin Sentinels is that I kind of found it important to try to take take them out um, individually pretty quickly, and so I would try to focus fire. And I and not exclusively. If you have an if you have a chance to hit one, you know, go ahead and do it. But I tried to focus um, focus them down one by one. And the reason for that, so you can see, there was there were three, and now there's only two. If you focus them down and you do any kind of reasonable damage, and, and consider um, putting lightning on your weapon if you don't have a lightning weapon, I believe these guys are weak to lightning. But if you can if you can keep if you can focus one of them down fairly quickly, you can keep the fight to three on one instead of four on one. You can kill one of them fast enough that you will only have to fight three of them at a time, and that makes it a lot easier. And, and the fight really just boils down to keep them in front of you, make sure that you're ready to get some distance if you need to. So he, like here's one, one added right there, and he was all the way on the other side of the roof, and you saw I just like booked it for the other end to try to make sure I could keep all three of them on one side of me. And then it's just, you know, it's just bide your time, wait for the right opportunity to attack, get one I, w I, I wouldn't hardly recommend trying to do anything more than one attack because for two reasons. It takes a while to do more than one attack, and another guy might be coming up to, to swipe at you. And the other thing is that you're using up your stamina that you're probably going to need to use to block. So, uh, just, you know, keep them in front of you. Again, I tried to focus them down so that I could keep, keep it to two or three at a time. Because four at a time really four at a time is it's, it's still not too hard to keep them in front of you but it's really hard to find an, a safe opening where you can start to attack so if you can keep it to three um, you can usually find a pretty good opening to attack and you can you can survive this thing and you can see I mean this this video has been going on now for like four minutes and I barely have them at half health and the the health bar down there at the bottom is the overall health for the for the boss fight they'll keep coming um, I, and again, I think it's I think it's six total, um, but you can see sort of your progress down there at the bottom versus the individual health on each of them. And that that's pretty much the strategy for the fight. You'll see sometimes they shoot the fire when they're on the ground. Sometimes they shoot the fire when they're in the sky. Sometimes when they go to the sky, they swoop down at you. But really, it's just it's be very conservative. Um, try to focus them down so that you can keep it to three on one instead of four on one because it just it just gets really hard to deal with when it's four on one. But if you play conservatively, don't get greedy. You'll be alright. I, I actually, once I kind of realized how this was going to go where there was going to be at most four um, and, I, and I started focusing one down so that I could keep it to three on one, it, it became much, much more manageable. So 
Um, like I said, don't don't uh, you know don't avoid taking a hit if you get a, if you have a good shot at one of them. That's not your the one you're trying to focus down. But you know if, if you have a choice, try to knock one out, and and uh, it'll just it just makes things so much more manageable. And I'm gonna cut out a bunch of the fight there in the middle. Even at double speed, it was, <laughs> it was just a really long video. So. You can see now I've got it down to two. I, I focused them down. Now there's only one left, and that health bar down at the bottom is just is just what's left on this particular gargoyle. And once you get it down to one, it's don't get sloppy because you're going to be tired and you're going to wish the fight was over. Don't get sloppy because one of them is still plenty deadly. But once you finish him off, you are victorious. And what's nice about this is that if if you do this before you do the lost center, you get a you can ultimately get a key that makes fighting the Lost Center quite a bit easier. So I, I always recommend doing these guys before the Lost Center. You don't have to, but I think it makes it a lot easier. Hopefully that helped you kill the Belfry Gargoyles 2.0. If you liked this video, if it helped, make sure you subscribe and share. And until next time, I'm Miaro. Thanks for watching.